<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Slickshot Games here, and welcome to another map review. Today we're looking at the new map called DE Village by four authors, actually. Almus, Red Skittle Foxy, Super Dirt, and Trevor. All these uh, map creators have come together to create this map. And just to preface it, it's a village uh, that terrorists decided to bomb. Uh, a medieval monument of sorts, and... Because they disagreed with the new government policy, that that's kind of like the backstory of this um, map. But without further ado, let's just get right into it and highlight this map here called the Village. So if you take a right, you'll be going to the B site. If you go straight, you'll be going mid, and to the left, you'll be going to A. So pretty standard overall. I'm going to start off by heading over to A as a CT. You just go through this route and boom, you're already on the site. One thing you'll, I noticed about this map is the speed at which you get to the site is very fast, especially mid. So you can use this ladder here to, you know, jiggle peek or what have you, whatever you'd like to do uh, to spot. You could be a nuisance. I doubt anybody will be this vulnerable, but if you want to go for a pick, you can. You can also jump on these boxes if you want to try to st try stuff, as well as jump on here. So. If, similar to kind of overpass, you could be jumped on, jump on here and fall if you want to. I'm sure you can get up. No, you cannot get up on here actually. So, but as you can see, you can plant anywhere within this area, uh, as you'll see on the map, right here. You can go all the way, plant down here. So it's a relatively uh, a large site, and I do, I always, I'm a fan personally of boxes. That sounded very vague and weird, but no, I, I like how I like in many maps when they have stuff like new box or on cash like quad, just boxes that you can play around. I really am a fan of that, so I like the idea that they allowed for just some pivoting room here on the site. I wish they had a little bit more of a well, they do have a wall back here. This could be a nice post plant, but overall, I think the openness will allow some some nice nice plays so I do like that um, if you do choose to push this the T's can come from here they can also come from here um, and, and one thing interesting about this ramp you could actually jump back into it you don't have you're not necessarily you know screwed if you fall out of this ramp area so I like that element uh, T's will be hopping here and you can do a double pronged attack very pretty standard this room is kinda like toxic and what used to be the old nuke um, where you could just play the bomb here, so that's pretty interesting. But as far as I'm a CT, so this is post plant or not post plant, but defensive positions. So let's go back around and let's check out mid. All right, I'm back in CT spawn, and if you go straight, you'll be going to mid. Left will also bring you to A into this upper area. You'll be on the site like this. So pretty fast, you'll be at a much closer position than you were the other thing. So if you do want to play like a CZ up close and an op a little further back. So one thing I find interest, found interesting in mid is this this little upper area. So this is mid. I'll just show it without jiggle peeking here. This is mid. Uh, I, I like mid actually. It's very similar to Aztec. I like to compare these maps with similar to Aztec where you'll just see this big long bridge here and in, in an underground kind of like area and a box in it. So it's very reminiscent and I like that actually. So as a CT, you can hold this angle over here and watch them just just a normal peak or you can come up here and you could be holding this upper angle and kind of be seeing like a very small slit or work with certain angles and play very kind of annoying you could smoke it off of course you want to you know try to smoke it and stuff like that so you can fall I do so you can actually jump from here to this area over here I like that although I find it in terms of jumping it could be kind of awkward if you do you know try to jump down and you miss it like I did and you fall right here or right here really this cubby right here so if they could extend this box out maybe I think that would be a little bit smoother if this box were extended out here so you can just eat not have this weird strange gap here if you were to fall but nonetheless I think that this is a very interesting element and I like it a lot so as a CT you can you can uh, so that's CT spawn. You could take a right and go around, or you can continue through here and go that way. And I'll follow this way through so we can show you. And you'll be you take a left and right. You're on site. All right. So there's this way. Here's mid, and you take a right, and boom, you're on site here. So this it's very speedy. 
how you'll get to the map. It's very fast, and I think that I like that in a map, but I think that there should be a little bit more distance in terms of map. When you look at the map, uh, you'll see that the, the two there's a little bit of an area that I feel like maybe B could be pushed back a little bit, I think, or pushed forward, and the A site could be pushed forward a hair too to give more equal distance between the T and the CT spawn. I think, I mean, I'm not sure how that will play out, but that would, that's just a suggestion, I think, that could make the, the map feel a little bit more spacious in terms of speed of getting to the maps. So let's talk about the actual uh, site itself on B. You'll get this kind of head glitch spot, which is in, so this is where they'll be coming from, or that, that way, that way, or they can flank you from mid, right there, you can flank you mid, but typically they'll be going from here, or here's, you can call that B main, I'm guessing, or something like that. So I think uh, that you'll basically be, this box, it should be changed a bit, I think, because it's too big. It's not big enough to completely cover you, but it's too big to be a, a, an effective head coach spot. So you could really only see their heads and things. But it is one of those boxes. So if I think I think that if they make it similar to the Inferno boxes on A site, I think that that would be a nice change here. If this were a little smaller, so you could head glitch it a little bit more. I don't know how if head glitching should be encouraged per se in these maps, but I think that. It could be changed slightly, but I do like the the, the idea of this box and this box. I, I like that. Um, similarly, you can jump up on here, and you can jump on here. So they give you, this is kind of going to be the split you'll see the T's take, but this is kind of like a catwalk-esque kind of thing. So they allow you to get up there but you have to risk it and i like this risk reward we're seeing here you have to get in front of the box you can't do it from behind neither you can jump spot this you know like this or something like that but you can't you can't per se be head glitching this and if you do want to get on cat and be aggressive you have to take this risk jump onto this little flower bag here and then jump on here so there's a bit of a risk reward kind of thing there so i like that um also, one, one more thing about mid, so if you take a left here, you'll be falling into the sewer area. I didn't really cover this too much. And you can take a left, and you will be on A site as well. Well, actually, you'll be in even more forward positions. So to break it down completely from, T, from CT spawn, if you take a left, you'll be the furthest back site angle, like if you're holding an op. If you go here, you'll be kind of in the middle, kind of in this area, middle-ish area. And if you take the middle of the map and take the sewer area you'll be as close as you could possibly get to the t's in terms of, of, of in terms of area before they actually hit the site so the sites down there you'll be up close so i think pushes mid could be very interesting i, I like this a lower sewer area potentially and i know this is all about theming but potentially change the um color or the wood of the halls maybe a little bit uh just to differentiate between them this is really an issue that would occur if somebody's first playing the map and learning it. They'd be they'd get confused maybe at which stairway is which. But I think that overall, though, I like I really do like the that element that there's three kind of pronged areas that you can hit the A site. On the B site, you can also jump on this barrel here um, and be holding up here, but you're prone to cat, so you'd have to smoke it off or whatnot. All right, so now we're on the T side. Now, in terms of, of T positioning here, everybody spawns here. You take a right, they'll be at B. You go straight, you will also, you'll be on A. And if you take a left here, you'll be on A. If you take a left here, you will be mid to B. So this, you really only have two ways to get to B. One is a wraparound to the right, and one is mid to B. Those are the only two ways. So let's go the standard route to B. Um, in terms of architecture and look, the look of the map, I do like the premise and the idea of the map. It could use a little bit more work as far as the textures, maybe theming, things like that. I think that it could use some work, but I think that they did a good job on the, on the idea of the medieval theming. Maybe s some more detail, I think. Could, could be better, but I think overall they, they did do a good job on that. So you take a right and 
it may seem a little bit overwhelming where I go. So the left is the catwalk area I was speaking of. And you will be right here. Be able to overlook sight. If somebody's head glitching, you could even try to molly them out or something. Jiggle peek, use that to your advantage. All right, so if you take a right and go down here, you will be in the uh, top mid area, or the bottom mid on your side, the T side. So if you want to t attack mid in a different area, maybe catch that guy out over there. You could even help your teammates from down here with a flash or something like that. So I think that this is kind of a unique sewer area. And the, the T's, or the CT's also down here, also have their own sewer area over here where they could peek you. So there's an upper section of mid and there's a lower section of mid. And then over here is just B main, so to speak. So this little area is B main and boom, you're out onto site. You can plant anywhere in this in this quadrant right here. Um, even over here is an exposed angle, but ultimately one that um, could be used, you know, so I like that. In terms of post plant positioning, I think back here, back by B main is, is definitely a strong position. Um, you can just be waiting for the bomb, you could plant it and then play kind of play back and play for time as well as on cat. Say you go for an attack and, and you attack into the B site, you, one of your teammates can stay behind, smoke it off, smoke this off, and just kind of play play the, the, the site, play the bomb. So it's very, it, it would be very annoying, I guess, retaking if that happens. But I mean, that's just how it's set up. So I like that. I like the, um, the post plan position for this map. Let's try the A site now. All right, so as far as A goes, you can attack A from the left side over here. And just like that, you're practically on looking at site. So within a few in moments, you're right on site. So that, that's what I was speaking to earlier. It, it, the speed at which you get to the sites is incredibly fast. This way too is uh, you'd run, and this is the upper area right here, or, or the ramp area you jump over. And finally, if you want to take this way, which is a bit of a longer way, but it essentially will get you to the same spot right here, this mid connector. Uh, in terms of looking at the map, I think taking this short left here would be the fastest. This one, this mid route, would be the fastest to get to A. You just bum rush it. You could even look at them on site already when you're coming over here. As far as post plant positions, as I stated earlier, this is kind of like a toxic area. Um, as seen on nuke where or the old nuke where you can kind of hide here play for the bomb whatever whatever because as you'll see there's so many routes so many retake areas that that can be you can be easily flanked from mid because everything's so closely knit you this this is a mid flank that could happen um just straight up back here just a mid push can happen over here this stairway too so all these areas can be easily pushed um, on a post plan position. So you'd have to hold somebody back over here, have somebody holding back here and, and try to deter any, any flanks and things like that. So ultimately, I think that it's interesting. It might be a little bit too much in terms of, of flank uh, availability. But I think that overall, though, uh, I do enjoy the map and... Yeah, I think I'll, that that about wraps it up. I think I'm just going to be, you know, closing, giving my final thoughts here. So I think the map uh, has a nice layout. I think it should be balanced out a little bit more in terms of sites, the speed at which you get to the sites. Um, as far as the look goes, architecturally, I like the design. I like the the medieval style, but it could use a little bit more detail or maybe different texturing, personally speaking. But I think that overall, though, um, it it would be a fun map to play in the game and I did test it earlier and I, it, mid was is pretty fun. Mid is a fun area to kind of you know screw scream in so to speak and try to just you know outplay your opponent mid. So I like that and those are the elements that I like. Could use some improvement, yes, but overall credit to the authors and uh, if you'd like me to review anything please comment below. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll catch you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.